<laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? It's Vito Boy. We're back again. This time I'm actually recording a video. I'm not using my uh, stream bots, so this is get a little bit different compared to what we usually are like. But uh, yeah, today we are going to be trying out something very different. Actually, I've done it once before, and it's actually my most viewed video at the moment on Hit Cled. So yeah, so we're going to try to test it out again. I have a different sort of build this time that I'm going to try to go for. Last time I went for like a Storm Razor and stuff like that, but that was like the old Storm Razor before it got changed and all that. So it gave like a decent amount of attack speed. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to be trying to do a different type of build because I think this on hit build is actually, it's pretty strong. You can actually abuse this, I'm pretty sure, in low elo. I'd say you can abuse this all the way up to probably low diamond, honestly. Because not that many people know how to play against Clyde. But uh, yeah, the build that I'm going to be going for is... Well, before I actually get into the on hit, I'm actually going to still go a team at just because it's very essential on Clyde. Although it's not actually on hit... I, I just like it a lot. Team just feels really, really good. But yeah, for the attack speed items, I'm debating still on exactly what I want to go for. But I think I'm going to go a Bork this game. Probably PD, Gwinsu's, and Wits End, maybe. Because they actually have a decent amount of AP. So yeah. It's actually a Varus top, which I am very surprised for. I thought it was going to be a Mordekaiser top. And it was, I thought it was a Fiddlesticks jungle. Oh yeah, this is a little bit different. I actually took MR runes. I mean, it's not terrible in the Varus because he does AP damage. But it's definitely not going to be insane. But yeah, as, th those are the runes as you guys can see right here. We're going Lethal Tempo with Triumph, Alacrity, Coupe de Gras. And then I actually tried a different secondary tree than what I usually don't use. But I'm taking Approach Velocity with Magical Footwear. Because like, I think Approach Velocity is like the only other tree, really, that you can get like... Moose Seed Thumb, other than Celerity. I mean, I could have been Celerity Water Walk, but I think Approach Velocity actually can be pretty good, because once you pull them in and impair their movement, you'll actually get a lot of uh, Moose Speed, so they won't be able to run away from you. So I think it's actually pretty solid for this. And I took one um, Attack Speed um, Flex Rune, and then an Adaptive Force, and then I said MR as earlier. But yeah, um, I haven't laned against the Varus in a while, so it's... We can't really do too much early on. Level, th actually, I think level three might be able to kill him. Actually, we don't have PTA, which we would usually go, so it's gonna be a little bit harder. Because this is this is a very good scaling build. It's not really an early game build, but yeah, with the lethal tempo, look at this. Pop, 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 and then you go pop. Nice, good job. There you go. There's the attack speed coming in right there. We just attack so fast that he couldn't do anything about it, the Varus, and we get a splash as well. So this is the uh, first kill in the lane. We're getting pretty strong. And uh, yeah, our attack speed is definitely not the fastest right now. As you guys can see, it's only 0.75. But then again, we have no attack speed items. So just, just give it a couple minutes. Because when your W's up right now, it's 1.7. Imagine late game when you have your um, lethal temple proc. It's going to be probably like 4 point something. It's going to be nuts, the attack speed. So I actually think... If you could stick on their carries, like him with this build, you'll just start shredding them. See, look at that. We just attack him so fast that he can't do anything. He did kind of troll there. He didn't use his abilities. But, uh, yeah, our, we just auto-attack the uh, Varus. Um, I'm pretty sure he has TP, so I'm actually just going to reset. Because I don't think he TP'd there. Or did he? I don't know. Maybe I'm trolling. I'm just going to reset, though. I don't want to suicide. But, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, I am going to pick up the uh, team map first. And now we're going to go into our Bork. I went the Longstar because we had enough gold for it. But, yeah, we're going to be going for the Bork into... I think, I'm gonna, I think I'll go Wits End second. I'll go Bork, then Wits End. And then... Uh, what should we get third? Do we go PD or should we go? I'll probably get PD third. Because, like. And then Gwinsu's. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Stormraiser is still pretty solid, but it's not. An, I don't think it gives me enough value. I don't know. It gives you a lot of ADD, though. I'll probably sell the uh, team out later on in the game, though. Since it doesn't give attack speed. It's just really good for early game. Because I can proc the team out proc on him before my W's up. So I can get the lethal temple proc ready to go, and then we can all in him. Or like engage on him. 
and it'll already be ready with our W, so we'll have insane attack speed. There we go. That's the team out. But yeah, we're 3-0 so far. It's starting off pretty well. We aren't even at the attack speed part yet, so the on-hit part. So if we're already this far ahead, just wait until we get the on-hit. It's actually going to become nuts. I can I actually have a feeling this game we could probably get like... I'd say probably 30 kills this game, honestly, if we can uh, keep the uh, pressure out. Because honestly, what we could do right now is once he walks back in the lane, we just kill him. Because we're so far ahead. Wait, he's mid lane. Alright, let's just chase him down. Yo, we've actually broke this guy's mental. Yo, boys, we broke the guy's mental in a solid six minutes. I think that's like... Actually, it's not a record for me, but it's pretty good. Bro, but... Hey, this actually just proves it right here. On hit, Kled broke this Varus' mental in six minutes. And we haven't even gotten into the actual, like, items yet. I'm telling you, this build is actually broken. Trust me. Actually, just 1v9. Although we haven't gotten an attack speed yet, the lethal temple just alone gives you enough attack speed just to cut the guy. Oh yeah, this guy is actually human. Feels good, man. But yeah, just give it another couple minutes. Once we get this Blade of the Rune King, this guy is actually probably just going to lose the game, honestly. We're just going to dive him again as soon as he gets back, and then, yeah. Oh, we actually got us there, shit. Ah, I need a reset. Yeah, I can't fight that. We're a little too low. We're just gonna reset quickly. Wonder where boots come in, by the way. Let's just see. I think it's like eight minutes, right? Nine minutes. Okay, we're gonna do that, that, and that. We got the attack speed starting to roll in. We're at 2.0 attack speed now, basically. So yeah, our attacks are going to be disgusting now. Just watch this. I guarantee within the next five minutes, this guy won't be in the game. Because the attack speed is going to tilt him off the face of the earth. Like, we've made him built a rejuve bead. He's built a rejuve bead because he's still tilted. Our belt is too OP. An enemy has been slain. I could just ulti him, but I'm just going to wait a sec. Once he walks up, he kill him. He's gonna try to back, but we're not gonna allow him. Look, watch, watch this build. Watch this, boys. Look at that. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There's the on hit right there, baby. And as I mentioned, this we literally don't even have an item yet, and we're already just demolishing this guy. We're just putting him down in the uh, drain, down the drain, I guess. I don't even know. We've tilted him off the face of the earth. This build, but yeah, we're about to have our uh, Bork actually, so this is gonna get nuts. So yeah, we'll get this tower, and then we'll uh, get it. And you actually take towers really, really fast with this build. Look at we're just shredding through these top plates, and this is at nine minutes. So we're about to get first tower. Now, the thing is, do I... I kind of want to get this first tower. Because I need it for the gold. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wake him, push up, and then we kill him. I do have to be a little bit smart. Because he can't just Q me and I get dismounted, and I might actually die. But if I land the EQ on him, he's dead. There's nothing he can do. Wow, that actually dismounted me. Shit. Okay. Now. 
Ow. God, that guy does damage, actually. Jesus. Okay, we should probably reset. I don't want to int. Oh, actually, we have enough for a Bork. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We could have gotten the Berserkers. Oh, my fuck. This guy... Will not let us back, actually. He's gonna try to stop our back again. So we'll just do this if he walks up. No, oh, never mind. That hit? Wow. That is bull. That actually hit me. Crazy. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna beat that guy now because I'm gonna get flamed. Unlucky. The only weakness to this build is you are very, very squishy, as you just saw there. I love it. I mean, I did kind of troll there, but we got our first item, so we're going to start shredding through this guy, and he's going to actually just uninstall. But yeah, we kind of did troll there, but I mean, it's not the end of the world, since our build is a scaling build, as I mentioned, so... Although we did die, we're actually just getting stronger, because we wanted the back to begin with, so I mean, it's just a faster back anyways. But yeah, he's going to have a pleasant surprise when he gets back into this lane. <laughs> But yeah, we actually have 160 AD as well, so we're actually like, even with this 2.0 attack speed, we still have a decent amount of AD. My CS could be better, but it's okay. But yeah, we're at 5 kills out of 12 minutes. It's not too, too bad. This guy is just roaming mid, so I guess we'll just take the tower. It has a decent amount of sustain in this build as well, so it's not too, too bad. For sustain wise, we can go back and get our berserkers if we want. I think I'm gonna shove them this wave and then reset and get them because it'll be nuts. And then we just ult bot lane, kill them both. I think that's what we'll do. We'll chunk this tower though. Look at this. Should I just take this tower honestly? Nah, not yet. We won't take it yet. We don't want them to FF yet. We can do this though. Ah, oh, I canceled an auto. But yeah, as you see right there, he comes up, we just shred through him. Bop. We are a good. Oh, wait, no, we're not. Shit, I trolled. Damn, I'm actually gonna play that better. Let's go. But yeah, as you, they literally walk up to you, and if they walk melee range against you with this build, you'll literally just shred through them if you're ahead. It's actually just nuts. So yeah, we get our um, Berserkers. I said I was going to Wits End, right? Should I get a Wits End next, or should I just go... I could just go some crit. I don't know. He's not really doing too much magic damage yet. I think I could probably get a PD before. Yeah, maybe I'll go PD into a Wits End. Should I go with some? I don't know if I actually want to go with Zend. I mean, it could be pretty good here, but... I thought I'm going to get Gwintsu's. Maybe I'll get with Zend fourth item. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'll do PD into a Gwintsu's into a with Zend. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, Vlad should still be alive by the time he, get, he gets out and we just kill this guy for some free gold. Three, two, one. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. There's the crit. The crit animation on Kled's actually funny as fuck. We're gonna flash EQ in a sec. Oh, poor. Just let them kill us. <laughs> or we just die, it's alright. Oh, I was gonna turn on him. Yeah, I was gonna think he's fine by backing in the, one of these bushes, but we're actually just gonna run him down. Ah, oh, he's gone there, man. I can't reach that. I'm way too slow. When I'm dismounted, there's no way I can reach him. If I was still on uh, Skarl there, I might have been able to catch up to him. But yeah, look at 2.4 attack speed with our W right now. I had only 15 minutes. And mummy proc lethal, it's probably like 3.0. Three right now, or probably three point four. So we're actually just getting, we're actually getting it nuts. We almost have our um, PD. So once we get our PD, then we'll just keep on popping off. Oh, 
On hit, quite OP. Oh my god, I actually almost had him. I see the one more auto. Damn, one more auto when we had him. I had kind of hesitated. That's my bad. If we got that kill, we actually would have had our PD. I think we still get it though, because our team should win this. I think we can just get it off the uh, tower. Did they get it? Yeah, okay, nice. Good shit, boys. So yeah, we're gonna have our PD now. If we had our PD there, we actually would have killed them both. Because one really good thing about PD, even though I don't really like building it too, too much. It's actually when you're below 30% HP, so that means it's only going to proc when you get dismounted. Unless it comes back up when you're in the middle of a fight and you remount with like no HP. But for the most part, it's going to be when you're dismounted. So when they least expect it, you're going to get a big ass shield at the end. So especially for this build, they're going to think they're going to kill you. But then you get the shield and you'll start wailing on people and just killing them all in team fights. So I actually think PD is a really, really strong second item in this build. But yeah, we're going to go for Gwinsu's third now. And then we're uh, going to get the Gwinsu's, as I mentioned. And then we will go for probably Owit's end. And then to top it off, I don't know what we want to do last item. We could just go for like an IE, but I mean, then again, IE is not really attack speed. No. I'll probably just go like a uh, static or something. Or we could go, Storm maybe we go Storm Razor. I don't know. We could go Storm Razor, maybe. Or we'll take this tower and then we're going to start probably roaming and just killing everyone. Tilting them. Yeah, we'll do that right now. They're going to be tilted here. This Varus is dead. Dun -dun -dun -dun. And then this guy's dead, his attack speed, OP. On hit, Clyde is broken, baby. Nice. Good shit, boys. Oh. How's it going, bud? Yes. Oh, the on hit, Clyde, because that's going to work. <laughs> We're just sitting here auto I literally didn't use abilities. I was just sitting there auto-attacking. You see that PD shield, though? I literally survived because of PD. It's actually just broken, boys. You literally don't even have to use your mouse. You literally just click, right click them once and then your champion will kill them. It's actually, if you're learning Clit, hey, you can just do this and you don't have to hit his abilities. There you go, boys. It's actually just five head. If you don't want, if, you, if you're bad at landing your Qs on Clit, just uh, build on hit and you'll never have to hit a Q in your life. <laughs> but yeah, we're almost at our Gwinsu's. Once we get our Gwinsu's, it's actually gonna be nuts. As I mentioned. Uh, three seconds, we just dive him. Oh, okay. Never mind. I want to still... You know what? We're still going to do it. Oh, we were so close, actually. <laughs> Yo, look at that, though. We're literally just hit wailing at them. We're not even trying to, like use any mechanics we're just hitting them because on his just so freaking strong that if you get ahead with this build you literally don't even have to use your abilities you just keep auto attacking at them all you got to do is hit that first q when you engage and you got the approach velocity with this build so they can't run away from you because you're going to have insane speed move speed towards them and then you just wail on them and you also get a decent amount of move speed too with this build because you're getting move speed from pd you get the bork passive where you hit them with bork like you take their move speed and once you get the static, you get even more boost speed. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's just actually just nuts. You can't be lonely when the land is this beautiful. But, like, it's only... This build's only really good if they don't really have that much CC. Like, this game, I kind of got away from the CC. Like, it's a fill six, so I'm not going to see him until late game. It's going to be a little hectic, hectic late game against him if he can't, does get a taunt on me. But then again, we could... Actually, no, we can't really go at QSS, though. That's the issue. Nah. Yeah, the only thing is, yeah, if he all fears us, we might get cucked. But then again, we have the uh, remount, which will get really, really fast. Because, yeah, you, you remount really, really fast with the uh, attack speed because you're on hit. It's just disgusting. And you get 15 courage each auto, so you'll get it in pretty damn fast. Nice, we got our Gwinsus. Good shit. Nice. Okay, we got our three items. I'm going to take the red buff now. 
But yeah, it kind of sucks that the game is kind of a slaughter for our team right now. Like, we're hard popping off our team. So it's not as close as I wanted it to be. So, like, that we can't show, like, the true potential of the build. Like, if it was an even game, you could see how nuts it is. But, I mean, it's still a decent game. It's not like they've FF'd, at least. Not yet, at least. I mean, the Varus probably wanted to FF from, like, minute two. But... Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. You just sit there and just auto attack from the death. <laughs> like, look at that. I'm literally not doing anything. I'm just flat I'm walking up to them and just killing them all. <laughs> you literally just killed them all. It's actually nuts. <laughs> I love it. It's actually too good. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get the wits end now, I think. Wits end's gonna make it too, so once we get dismounted, we have permanent lifesteal technically with this. Because, um, when you're below, I think it's 40%, right? Oh, 33%, you get, um, increased heal at 100% for melee champions. So we're gonna heal for a shit ton, and we also get magic damage too on hit, and we also get the attack speed, so it's actually just really, really good. And we get some tankiness against AP champs too. So we're just gonna have so much attack speed with magic damage because we're already getting some from the Gwinsus and then we're gonna get it from the Wits End. We have a shield with PD. We're getting life steal from the Wits End. We have life steal from the Bork. We have a slow from the Bork. We still have AOE from our teammate that we bought earlier, which we're gonna get rid of soon once we uh, finish this item. For the last item, we'll get the static shift as I mentioned, so we'll get rid of the team mat for the static. But the team mat definitely helped out a lot with the laning as I mentioned, because you do want to get at least a little bit of AD early on for Kled because Kled does need some AD early game. Because if you don't have any AD, Clyde won't be able to do like anything early game because you're more reliant on just cheesing your laners. So yeah, getting that early longsword into a uh, team ad definitely helps with the early laning. But then you can just get rid of it later on because you don't need it. Because you want more attack speed, obviously, so you can just destroy them. But yeah, we're going to take the red buff. It's up in six seconds. And then we're just going to kill this Yasuo with our attack speed. I want to stack this up and hopefully have it stacked up still, the Gwinsus. Hopefully we can kill him here. I don't know if he's still here. He might be gone. Oh, he's gone. Rip. But yeah, you want to make sure you can stack up your Gwinsus. Once it's stacked up, they're literally just going to get shredded. Like, look at this attack speed. We're over 5.0 with our W when it's stacked up. We're at 2.27 when it's stacked up without our W. So wait until we get in combat with W with our lethal temple. We're going to have like 4 attack speeds. 4.0 attack speed. And this is not even full build yet. Like, look at this. Let's let's shred through this guy. Watch this. Oh shit. Okay, well, that's where it that's where it kind of gets unlucky when they have that much CC. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the team at though now. We have our wit send. My bad. I kind of chilled that. I let them CC me. That's the only issue with this build is, as I mentioned, if you get CC'd, you do kind of get cucked. But for the most part, in any 1v1, you'll be able to win really, really hard. Even 1v2s. As long as they don't have, a, like, a shit ton of CC. But yeah, they had so much CC there. They had the Jin W on me, and they also had the Varus ulti. I should have dodged it, though. But yeah, that was my bad. But yeah, we're gonna get our, uh... Sh whatever this is called. The I can't, I can't, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name. I'm gonna mess it up. The Shard. That's what we'll call it. <laughs> so we'll get, um... A attack speed buff. Oh, not attack speed, bonus, bonus damage. We're getting even more magic bonus damage. Every time we stack it up to 100. Energized attacks. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, we got two, we're sitting at 2.5 attack speed flat. When we haven't even, like, done anything. It says we're at 400% bonus. I don't know what that means. Wait, so do I have 4.0 attack speed technically, though? Is that what it means? So when I proc my lethal, I get 4.0. I think that's what it means, right? And that's without my Gwintus. Let me see what it says when I start doing my Gwintus. Oh, that, I think, yeah, I think that's my attack speed when I, uh... I'm, I'm not too sure. I think that's how it works. Look at this, though. Nice. And it's, it's really insane for swift pushing, too. I kind of wish I... Play the low better this game though, just show the true potential. I did play kind of sloppy this game. I could have played a little bit smarter and we would have gotten even more kills and stuff. 
but it's still not terrible. We're gonna. I'm actually just gonna back off. I think. I don't think I can kill them here. Unless I do this. He taunted me or tried to fear me while um I was in my ulti, so I was unstoppable. Look at that. <gasps> no! God damn it. I got slowed by his uh, E or else I had it. Shit. And his E also uh, had Grievous on it, so I uh, didn't heal as much. Damn, we're almost full build though. Once we get the static shield, we're actually being nuts. I mean, I could have actually. Wait. Static gives more attack speed. But this gives me more increased range. This gives me more damage though. Actually, wait, is it the same? Oh, it's the same, actually. I don't know. Should I go for the attack range bonus, maybe? Maybe rapid fire is better. You know, I'm going to rapid fire, actually. Even though I lose a little bit of attack speed, I lose, what, 10%? I think it might actually be better, because then they can't, like, get away from our attack speed range. I mean, our uh, attack range. Since we're melee champs, so it's a little bit harder to get on people sometimes. But with this, we're going to have increased range, especially when we get dismounted. If we get the um, uh, uh, increased range when we're dismounted off Skarl. We're having insane attack range. So I think we'll do that. And then maybe we'll get static last item if um, we have time. I mean, this does give us 35%. But yeah, we can get to 40 with that. I don't think you want to do this, buddy. <gasps> what the? <gasps> what did I just? Sw what the fuck? Was <gasps> what? Oh, I. Oh my god! What was that? That was actually nuts. What the hell? What the fuck was that? Wait, that was actually f what? I didn't even see what the attacks were. I need to watch that back because th th that was the morning guys that went bye bye. <laughs> no. Holy shit, that kill on Mordekaiser! Holy shit! What? That was actually mind-blowing when we like one hit- Like our W, it didn't even feel like I had a W. It was it was literally like a second to- We parked our four autos with our W in less than a second. That was actually nuts. Holy shit, that build. But yeah, yo, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. That was actually so hype. But yeah, as I mentioned, this build is actually not as bad as you may think it is if they have no CC on their team. I wouldn't recommend bringing it into your rank games right away unless you have a lot of experience on it. But then again, I do not like fully recommend even doing it in ranked because it is a very, very, very greedy build. And if you fall behind with it, you may get reported by your team and you could get banned possibly because it looks like you're trolling with this build. But it's actually not as bad as you think it is. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching, as I mentioned. Um, for anyone who is new, hopefully you guys enjoyed it enough to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I would really appreciate it if you did. So yeah, go hit that sub button down below if you enjoyed. I also have my Twitch and my dis uh, Twitch and my Twitter in my description below if you want to go check those out. I stream almost every day on my Twitch, on twitch.tv slash feedaboy. And yeah, I post some things on my Twitter as well when I post a new video and when I'm just streaming on Twitch. So if you want to check that out as well. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, everyone. Peace.